back to TC911 Beyond the Call. I'm your host, Abby Dudek, and this is season two, episode two. And today I'm in Everman at Tarrant County Regional Communications Center speaking with Beverly, the communications manager. How are you doing, Beverly? I am doing great this morning, and you? Oh, you know what? I can't complain. You know, it actually, when this is recorded, because, uh, you know, these are previously recorded, you are in the hot triple digit week in July. Mm-hmm. And it was actually, I went outside and I watered my flowers and then I was like it's cloudy and it actually started spitting rain yeah just a little bit when I was walking in I was like and it's it's almost like if someone was throwing like bags of gold outside because you're just like (laughs) oh my god great you know so you have curly hair oh and then yeah and then the um that's why it's pulled back today because I was like yes come and hit me humidity I'm ready for you (laughs) this clip is going to save my hair today That's that's fabulous. So Beverly, tell me about your uh, position here at Everman in the Tarrant County Regional Communications Center. Well, I'm the director of communications and what I do is I oversee day-to-day operations within dispatch and I get to play the liaison between us and all the chiefs. And when I say all the chiefs, we have become a consolidated agency. We're no longer just Everman. We're Everman, Forest Hill, and Tarrant County Fire Alarm, which they cover 17, 18 fire departments. So that's a lot of departments and a lot of people to say, hey, know what's good what's bad so I get to play that excuse me that mediator in between and that takes up a lot of my day (laughs) yeah my job is to make sure that I stay on the middleman make sure that they're supported make sure that they know that I have their back and if there's any change in operations or if there's something a kudos to be given out that's where they come to me I go to them that's good just kind of like that little protection layer yeah Mm -hmm. and you guys have you guys only been consolidated for a short period of time and that's a that's a big change that's a very big change how is. is the adjustment going was it what you expected was it like okay this isn't as bad as I because you know you always get anybody in any industry when there's changes and things like that yes structural changes yes and you know professional changes and Mm -hmm. dynamics and everything but then are you kind of like oh now that's said and done you're like oh okay that wasn't bad right yes absolutely so we consolidated back in January of this year so it's been what six months to say it's been a roller coaster is an understatement because it has been larger than life. Uh, Everman was just a single dispatcher doing police, fire, and EMS dispatching. Forest Hill was the same way, but now since Tarrant County Fire Alarm's with us, we have four dispatchers in the same room at all times, and we don't have to worry about, I say we, I'm a primarily a police dispatcher. I don't have to worry about the EMS side anymore. I can give it to the guys who's designated, they're trained in that, and that way I can focus on the police and their their functions. They can focus on the fire department and their functions, and we work together. And it's been amazing in that. The building of this whole thing has been scary for a lot. Me personally, I came from a large agency back in New Mexico many, many moons ago, and I was just the dispatcher, you know, in quotes of on a consolidation. There's no such thing as just a dispatcher. Right. But it's different though being from management to dispatch the admin transition part. Oh, yeah. Leadership can be correct. Leadership roles. And uh, there's so much more that goes into it than I imagined. So, So the point of that is, is that back in 2008, I went through a consolidation as the dispatcher, only not having to be in charge of anything is no big deal. But now being on this end of it, having been so many people and personalities and processes and operations, I have learned so much and I am beyond thrilled that I had this opportunity to do that. And I've had a few dispatchers too, you know, because they... They've been here for a long time. They they like being that single dispatcher and doing everything. That's our job. That's our duty to do that. And with this consolidation over these past few months, I've seen them grow. To know that they can rely on somebody else to do the same thing to get the end result, if not a better result. And they even came to these see it. I swear to just the other day and said, you know, I like working with other people. I like having that person beside me to help with these big calls. You know, things happen. But now they have a backup. They're not by themselves anymore. And just watching them grow into a team has been the most beneficial and most exciting thing in this for me, honestly. Mm-hmm. And you guys have done a huge amount of construction. Yes. You know, you went from a tiny room to, uh, I mean, the, the fire department did all the new construction and you mm-hmm. guys, but your room, you want to talk about that? Because it's pretty, it's pretty nice. So yeah, we actually, we went for, again from a single dispatch room, ba- barely. <laughs> it was very, very small. Closet. And now, uh, basically, yeah, with two doors. <laughs> <A> two doors. <laughs> um, so now we moved into our what was used to be our training room for the Everman Police Department, and we can fit up to seven dispatchers working at one time if need be. So just the fact of going from one to seven is huge. And again, when we've been working for it by ourselves for so many years, it's it's almost intimidating. But then when you realize and actually jump into it, it's fun. And watching it, you know, again, it's I don't know, it's just it, it amazes me on how the well they're working together. 
together. So we have a brand new IT room. Again, it came from another closet just because, again, we're a small building. And it goes the length of the entire backside of our dispatch center. So we have seven racks of radio equipment, UPS is two of them at least. And that's where IT obviously parks all of their stuff, Mm -hmm. (laughs) all of their equipment. Um, But even still, we have seven consoles, a large IT room. We're completely separated from the rest of the building just because it's so extensive now. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys are currently hiring for positions? Okay. Yes. We're hiring for police dispatchers and fire dispatchers. Uh, Obviously, the basic requirements is 18 years of age, older diploma or GED equivalent, valid driver's license and a clear background check. And that's at least get you through the door, fill out the packet and then we'll go take care of the rest. But I do a lot of the back work, background work myself. I get the preliminaries done and I send it off to a background investigator that is designated for those. They handle the background and then they come to me and of course I take it to the chief or the city manager. So mm-hmm. if someone wants to work for Tarrant County Fire Alarm, they can still apply from your link and do they just mark Correct. their application that I want yes. to do Tarrant County Fire Alarm? Okay. Yes, just fire dispatch. That's yes. good to know because uh-huh. I was putting your job out there and I'm like, there's only one link. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to, I want to make sure that everybody on the public knows that if you're interested in doing the fire part of it, maybe you're, uh, you know, you're wanting to get into a fire career. Maybe you are retired and you're just looking for, you know, some work to do some dispatching. For retired firefighter. For a, yeah. They work great in that position. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of them around throughout uh, Tarrant County that are secondary PSAPs that, yes. you know, are just fire dispatch alone. Uh, you know, you can go to um, the City of Everman website. You can go to our website at tc911.org. It's listed there. And then just put on your application that you want to, that you're interested in the, the, the fire dispatch. Yes. So that is excellent to know. What are uh, some of the things that the City of Everman offers when you get employment here? Besides having a a wonderful team to work with that are that is here uh, we provide comparable uh, pay to other agencies to bigger agencies finally uh, which is I think is a great step up yes we love what we do but money is also nice as well yeah people Getting like that to, you pay. know people like to to eat and buy Your nice things and, yeah. and stuff so <laughs> exactly. that's okay yeah you know, you know and uh, we have the I can say uh, the best insurance in Tarrant County for coverage for employees. It's a hundred percent paid by us. Uh, it covers depending on obviously what program, but you know, has your kids, your spouse or whatever involved. But I can say hands down being a new mom that our insurance is on point. So you guys, mm-hmm. the police don't pay for your insurance, but Correct. if you add someone on there, then you have to pay for them. Is that right? right? Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's right. how ours yes, is too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really, it's really handy. It's really handy. Since you guys are building to be bigger kind of thing. Yes. Um, do you see, see if if there if I was interested in applying to your city would there be growth opportunities oh absolutely for me yes as so, the future rolls on yes because I am one person as much as I do love my position I need help and with that I mean we need at least a minimum of 16 dispatchers we're a little short right now so I'm doing both jobs right now so uh, being in there I need training coordinators. I need people, supervisors. I need people who's just going to take that initiative and help and say, hey, this is an idea that I have and let's do that. And I'm all about feedback and open up to new ideas because if we stay stagnant, we're not going to grow. Uh, Mental health is a big thing right now. And there's a program that I've been trying to work on for a few years. Um, Haven't gotten it up and running just yet, but I need people who's going to be interested who wants to help in that. Mm -hmm. Here, take it, run with it. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. You Um, should get with, you should get with Sophia at our office because she does a lot of the mental health stuff. You should just Shoot her an email and just see what kind of information she's got and how she can help you. Because she has a lot of experience in doing like the peer support mm-hmm. and everything like that throughout the whole county. So oh, okay. I would, see, I was I would, aware of that. Yeah, I would reach out to her and see if she can coach you along because she's got some pretty good information. So I, I definitely will do yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, we do what we can to try to help you. <clears throat> not, I appreciate you guys. You have. We're not only here so to help helpful. build your center. <laughs> we're here to help with anything you need. I have reached out so many times. That I don't. I'm surprised you don't have my number on speed dial. Just like, oh, you know, she's probably going to call. It's been about four hours since I've talked to her. No. <laughs> we get worried if you don't call. <laughs> right. We're actually, we actually yes, call 911 and do a check the well-being. Be like, <laughs> we haven't heard from Beverly in 12 hours and we're really concerned. Can you go into her office and just make sure she's still there I'm breathing? I'm at heart. I go to my resources. I use my resources and you guys have been a tremendous resource oh, for me. And what, I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank no you. problem. We have some amazing people on our staff that are, especially the technology side. Oh, so yes, I is, give them full credit. I, 
I don't <laughs> dabble in the technology. I no. learn and I'll do the backdrop. Uh, I'll get like, I'd always tell Kevin, I'm like, give me the best way that I can explain it to the public. Right. Yes. You know, where they would understand. Use words, not letters. <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there a picture I can draw or I can draw for everyone else? Cause that would be, that would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. So everyone loves a picture. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> everyone likes to color. You do. Come on. Uh, so how long have you been in public safety? I started my career in 2008, so about 12 years. Okay. And I have, I started when I was a 22-year-old kid who thought I knew everything. And you were 22 in 2008? Yes. Oh. Is that the right math? I don't think that's right. Did you say 12 years? Is that 12? That's not yeah. 12 years. That's longer than that. 2008? Yeah. Am I, am I that, am I, I'm not good at math. So this, neither am I. I know I started in 2008. Wait. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, all right. If you have, <laughs> this is funny because if you've listened to the other podcast where, you know, season one, I was interviewing all of our staff and it was brought up several times that Abby does not like math or do math. So anytime it comes up, I start just like, I don't know, crawling in a small corner and rocking back and forth. Right. like a small child. <laughs> no, I, I'm not doing that right now. Um, I thought about it, but we're kind of in the corner so I no, could you're good. you're good but yeah so 2008 well, it's a few years short I did take a, a few year hiatus I moved oh, from New Mexico okay. to Texas and I thought you know what did it take you that long to move is that why it's like I'm just <laughs> I'm picturing like Oregon Trail <laughs> like you took a, <laughs> a carriage you and a horse dysentery. oh my god <laughs> Oh, I really want to play that. I don't want to play the new one, though. I want to play the old the one old, on the if you Apple. you can find it. Yeah, if you can on find it. On the Apple with the floppy disk, yep. and you stick it in there, and then... <laughs> and you can hear it running. Oh, God, that's a <laughs> good time. Yes. Remember when I told you that our podcasts go off the off yes. the wire sometime? This is that moment. This is the fun part. Yes. This is fun. No, it's all great. Now I want to play Oregon Trail. Okay, so <laughs> you took a you took about how many years to get over to Texas as you walked over? <laughs> <laughs> about four years. I took a hiatus on that just to... Uh, Again, being young and saying, you know, maybe there's something else. I still loved what I did, but that's all. That's I had no other excuses for that. And then I realized when I came back to Texas or came to Texas of I know where my heart truly is. So a total of about 12 years I've been in this field and love every second of it. It's amazing. Even that time that I took off, how it changed from what I left and what I was used to, to what it was, because just the generations, the new people, the culture, everything is different here. And I can uh, back in New Mexico again, that's where I started. Uh, Primarily our call load was, you know, homicides or drug addicts. I mean, really dark, bad things like that. But coming over here is more mental health. And I had to do a lot of training for the first two years I came back of how to handle those because it wasn't that big down there. I just, uh, which is, a, I just did the math on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> how, how wrong? To, <laughs> yeah. How yeah. Is it? It's 15. Okay. So maybe it was a three year. Yeah. That's not right. That's, yeah. We started public safety at the same time. Did we? Yeah, because I started as a dispatcher in Bloomington, Illinois in 2000, April 2008. So, yep, I was in training then, in that time. And then, well, I finished in February. Ran through it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm not a headset hero anymore, and I'm just a cheerleader. You always will be, though. It's in your heart, it's in your blood. I'm, you can't get rid of that. I you, will never go. I cannot go back and do it, though. I <clears throat> I love being your guys' cheerleader. So, you know, I love that you just brought up when you were talking about the uh, d- different demographics and. Um, calls because I think that's so important for the public to know on how it changes because you're like in Mexico we had this this and this and it could be mm-hmm. it was it a big you said it was a big city yes are yeah. you are you what city was it are you it was you in share? Hobbs New Mexico it was the southeast corner of New Mexico okay and we consolidated from Hobbs Police Department uh to Lee County Communication Authority LCCA Hello to all my peeps there. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. Um, and so we covered the entire Lee County area. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is the one of the bigger counties in the state. So mm-hmm. and it's, it's good because I'm sure it's like that here too. And, you know, Dallas calls, Fort Worth calls versus what, mm-hmm. what you know, right. you guys yes. do. Yes. So it's it's all about the area. Obviously, the higher the population, the more that that stuff's going to happen. Yes, you know? absolutely. So we, I mean, we watched the news lately with all of the, oh my gosh, all of the uh, road rage shootings. <laughs> yes, I saw that. I can't believe that that is going, what everybody, know. you know what, just smile. And then if you feel yourself getting angry, stop at a local Sonic and get yourself an ice cream or a mm, milkshake or, or a slushy <laughs> or a grilled cheese or something. Mm-hmm. Treat yourself, fight back those anger monkeys. Yes. Cause it's not worth it. Not you can all. kill someone. When that and woman did, in Hearst yes. got killed. Yep. And I'm just Heartbreaking. like. Heartbreaking. 
Now it makes me nervous. Hopefully no one will do that to my cute little sweet Sally car. Right. You know, be like, oh, she looks cute. I can't. She's no, I can't do that to that pink cell phone. <laughs> She's so sweet. But all you the know? cuteness triggers something in somebody. And that's, I don't know. No. These people are nuts. Don't say it triggers <laughs> no, anybody. Oh my gosh. I'm not driving anywhere. But I need to drone myself. There you go. And just start. I just kind of. I'll just have a. You know, like Inspector Gadget. Yes. The original. So had picked it up from the backside. He had yep. the helicopter that come out. Of, I'm going to do that. So every time I <laughs> deliver your guys' gifts or come to all the PCEPs in Tarrant County, you'll just hear me you'll propel get the in. Be like, it's kind of like Mary Poppins flying in. Yes. And they're like, oh, there she is. Yep. There's, there's Abby. She's got all of our all of our gifts. Looks like, like she's that. not really making it because they're really heavy. But that's fun. But yeah, that is. So yeah, that's the kind of call load that you get mm-hmm. and I, you guys get some too because you're also adjacent to you're very close to fort worth's yes border you we're know right you guys in the of it. yeah we sit like right an the, island yes we sit between fort worth tarrant county and forest hill and then we have our own but with the, the dispatch center being consolidated now we take care of all of it anyhow i mean we cover 212 square miles of yeah. area and you have with all of us 20 you have highway 20 right mm-hmm, here too right so that and i say that because I'm, I'm sure people are like well so what they got a highway those at that that brings a a lot of calls because yes. you can get transfers <clears throat> of reckless drivers, possible intoxicated drivers, yes, road rage mm-hmm. incidents and things, accidents stuff like all that. The time. Mm-hmm. It's just mm-hmm. it's uh, you see this is where I, this is where I am triggered and I'm like <laughs> nope I'm not doing it ever again. It's I've been at the district for almost seven years yeah. and I'm I'm good. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to just roll me out of there when <laughs> when the good Lord takes me. Yep. So that's, that's just gonna happen. <laughs> but I love the different you know mentioning that so that people understand that you know based on where you live it's gonna it's gonna matter mm-hmm. so Absolutely. you know don't get yourself i think right it'd be probably best to say to the citizens like don't get yourself down if you hear a lot of like oh why is it so bad you know it's like that in a lot of big cities mm-hmm. and then if you're in the little ones you don't it's a completely right because you said yeah. you guys are mental health like it's a lot of mental we health calls yes. and stuff yes, ma'am. and what's your guys's you know, protocols to that. Do you connect them with a 988? Do you? We don't have that right now. I mean, we do have a, a line for that if need be, but we typically send an officer just be, to make sure, because again, we need to make sure that their safety is taken sure. care of first, you know? So if someone, and we can kind of, we, you know, we're trained in that. We can hear it. We can tell a lot of the time over the phone, but we want to make sure you're safe first. And then we're going to get you that help that you need. Instead of just transferring to somebody, because me personally, I've, uh, you know, experiences over the years, right? I mean, there was stuff that we've dealt with. We've all dealt with as dispatch. I'm always going to protect that person first as much as I possibly sure. can before sending them off to somebody else. Just, oh, I'm busy. Here's that. Not at mm-hmm. all. That's yeah, not that's, what I'm going to do. Yeah. And that's a lot of, well, there's a lot of different variations of the mental health. Yes. So maybe of the, of the, low is kind of like they're just calling and they're like I need to how do I get a counselor or something like that versus we can provide that yes mm-hmm. versus unfortunately they're wanting to harm themselves or something exactly. or it sounds bad yeah welfare checks are great and mm-hmm. everything and a lot of agencies will do that too so everyone out there in the cities you know that, that'll that happen if you have a relative or family member or something yes but you know uh, 988 is good to reference if they're if it's just more like I mean if you take call from it you know my, my daughter is doing this or my you know, my right. uncle absolutely. or something absolutely we can share that information absolutely references so i always think of dispatch as like the hub for everything well, yeah, like all knowledge. the information it's like <laughs> where are the blueprints to this apartment complex that was built in 19 19- hang on yep. let me just grab that binder in the back that's got all this old and that's what makes it fun though we're our own detectives so you know much. oh my gosh <laughs> i love to you know it's you know what's great too is that you guys have a lot of great camaraderie with your citizens here mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. So if you're out there and you're, you know, looking for a job, like I said, we have several agencies hiring in the Tarrant County 91 area, but there's, you know, they're all great. Everything is great, oh, but abs- there's yes. each one of them have their own little special spark, mm-hmm. you know, and I, you guys is the, I've always noticed because I've done several events in your city, which I love Yes, is that your camaraderie with the citizens are very, it's very good. Absolutely. It's very yes. good. They we all love have being involved. We have events all throughout the year. I mean, it's, and with, I can say with chief Spencer, city manager, Manager Spencer, you know, a double. shout out to Spencer. <laughs> he has really done a lot for the city as well. And I am actually very glad that I'm on the team to help with that because yeah. he has this big vision. I can share that vision and along with the other chiefs and admin staff or any personnel, really, yeah. we can see what we can be and we want to make those people feel included and be involved. I'll wear that um, Sally costume. I've put a Santa hat on her before. Mm-hmm. Poorly, but I did and it. The kids love it. Yeah, Everyone they do. loves it, you know, so I just, I'm just really, I'm, I'm, 
I love being here. I love working here. I love the city just because I've seen the growth. And again, the citizens are always involved. They're always calling just to say, hey, I heard something, you know, say it was something bad that happened to another family. They want to provide for them and bring things just yeah. out of the kindness of their hearts. And I've seen it over the years because I've been here now in Everman for five years. Fun. For five. And just seeing it from the beginning to now has completely turned around. Well, and just even structure structures out there by your, you know, Clyde, yes, Clyde yes. Pittman Park, it's, it's so welcoming. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's encouraging to say, Hey, we want you to come out and do this, bring your kids here, dude, you know, cause you guys have a splash pad out there, right? Well, we did. Yes. And we actually changed that into a park. And so we have like a double park going on over there with the Memorial Park and we have a fitness center coming in. We have businesses wanting to come in just just for growth. I mean, the houses you've seen being built over there on the backside over uh, north of here. And then you guys have the this your civic center here. We have the civic center. Yeah. It's just brand new from last year. And so there's Which all kinds of- Which we sat in there. Yeah. There, oh, our, yes. our office sat so in there. Nice. It, was, it was really nice. <laughs> so it was, nice. It's-, it's um, when I say civic center, I don't want people to think of like, you mean like, whoa, like a don't, because oh, people yeah. automatically going to go to like, <laughs> what? It's huge. It's, you know, it's, it's a great space. If you were having, um, like we had, a, a team building stuff that we mm-hmm. had at the district, mm-hmm. but we were having, I think we needed more room because our training room was, you know, it's not as big. And so we went there and it's great cause there's a kitchen. It's just one huge room. Right. And, but it's, it's a great space. Even if you were like, let's have a birthday party. Let's have whatever our bar mitzvah. Let's have, mm-hmm. and you people, know, it's rented out. People keep wanting to rent it because it is so big and there's so many facilities amenities i'm sorry uh in there for them to do their events oh absolutely we've had weddings we've had you name it the uh, council now is being held over there for right now yeah uh, that's yeah that's right workshops and everything so they can just rent that they mm-hmm. can so do they go on the website and like they can reserve? Go to the website to do that and they can also can contact city hall as and well there is a cost right yes absolutely okay. i don't know what those numbers are that's Okay. I, it maybe depends They're on, probably on the website. Rumor. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, so that's, that's good to know. Cause you know, maybe someone listening is like, Oh, I'm, I have this birthday party or I have this, mm-hmm. can, you know, Kitsunata celebration. Yes. What uh-huh. can I, what can I do? You know, exactly. so that's great. And you don't mm-hmm. have to be an Everman citizen. Right. So anyone, there are equal opportunity. Anyone can come and yeah, party come, there. Come. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. And that's like, we're piecing this together that comes in with, you know, being an employee at the city of Everman mm-hmm. as a nine one dispatch is you get a part of that because you do send out the dispatchers to like, you know, one, if they can to come out and work an event and meet the people mm-hmm. and, and everything like that. So Absolutely. there's just a really good, I can't stop expressing it enough of the, and I keep saying it because I've witnessed it. Yes. So I'm just like, <laughs> The citizen and and mm-hmm. city relationships are they're very very apparent that they're good. Yes. They're very you can visually see it. You can mm-hmm. see it on people's face. They're very appreciative. The citizens are very appreciative. So excellent job on that because that's that can be a tough it is. a tough thing, it, especially yes, with can. different demographics and mm-hmm. different other situations that go on. It's kind of maybe hard to reel people in, but you guys have exactly. really polished that up and, well, and made it. So <laughs> I've even noticed it. I I think the first event I did here was like six years ago. It was, I think it was one of the light up, or light, not light up Arlington. Sorry, wrong city. <laughs> I go, to, I go to so many. Um, I know. Celebrate, celebrate America. I so, think you yes, guys call uh-huh. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I brought Ready Fox and Cell Phone Sally when I was still using the Fox. And that's, that's been a few years. <laughs> that was, it was a hot minute ago. And yeah. I remember, I don't know whose kids they were. They were older. I shouldn't say kids. Like I'm putting toddlers in there or something. Um, (laughs) But it was someone's like teenage kids Uh and they wanted to wear the costumes. I just remember it was so hot. And then that's when I was like, I'm making the rule that no one can wear Sally if it's like above 82 or 83 or something like that. (laughs) You know, so hot in there. Life is important. I choose life. Yes. Yes. I don't want to be a 911 call. So (laughs) there's that. (laughs) Um, if someone is really, really demanding that Sally is somewhere, I'll wear it mm-hmm. because I'd rather I'm covered by the district. So I'd rather right. just, you know, your limits, <laughs> yeah, I'll just go myself, right? you know, and that'll be fine. So <laughs> no, you guys are doing a great job and I can, how long is your application process open? Is it kind of until positions are filled? Yes. Until they're filled. And you're looking for how many? Four right now. I need four positions. Are they mm-hmm. all full time or do you offer part time? I offer part time as well. So four full time. If you're looking for something like an opportunity just to 
step off into it and see if you like it i i have part-time opportunities as well that's awesome Mm -hmm. so there you go folks if you're looking for even part-time that's awesome yes because you can gradually maybe it's like oh i do this but Mm -hmm. i want to do this uh part-time and then you start being like wait a minute i really love that and we talked about growth opportunities as you guys grow as an organization yes so that is fantastic again to if you're like interested in, in applying to everman or to tarrant county regional communications center you can go on their website at the city of Everman, or you can see it listed on ours at tc911.org. And I, this was a great, this is a great podcast. This was fun. It's tough. I don't want to stop. I'm like, oh, well, there's stupid stuff. Can we talk about? <laughs> no, I think this is great. This is, I think this is great for you just to get out there and it helps. I mean, if it's going to help each and every one of us to work well, together yeah. and get out I like out to there, shine then, yeah. the light on, so that everyone knows that working as a 911 dispatcher, it's, it's great. It's a great career. And it, it's, it is, it's a guaranteed job. So if another, heaven help us, if another pandemic comes around or yeah, right? another, you know, COVID Essential. type thing, <laughs> you, you're you going to have a job mm-hmm. like because people aren't going to stop breaking the law. Correct. Or having or medical, medical, medical yep. assistance mm-hmm. or house, houses burning and stuff like that. Or just questions because that's yeah. what we do. Yeah. So it's, you're always, it's a guarantee. Your benefits start right away. Correct. You guys, do you guys benefit start it's right away? It's a 30 day wait. 30 day. So yes. Oh, okay. 30, 30 days. days. Some, mm-hmm. some of a lot of agencies that start right away and some of them, they don't. So I want to make sure that's clear. It's about 30 so days. 30 days yes. that benefits start. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's, that's great. So thank you so much for chatting with me absolutely i Thank told you. you it was gonna be fun it's oh, not scary is, yeah, this is way fun you just kind of forget this is way more fun it's just i tell i was telling <clears throat> everybody it's just a chat we're just having an innocent chat with abby that's mm-hmm. it innocent no big deal <laughs> i should just joke with them and start uh, the other managers and just start like coming in like all serious like where like my my dress up and come down with all oh mm-hmm. they would know it's just, you know what they're all really smart and they all know and i've me. never seen you just like that anyhow I've yeah seen you just so Relax. I am a, I am a, you know, laid back kind of gal. So mm-hmm. they would know, they, they would call me out on it. They're like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is, Who are you and where's Abby? Because this, this, this is, is not. Is, yeah, we know you're messing with us. So come on, world. come on, dude. Let's just, <laughs> yeah, let's just get this. Exactly. Let's just get this going. So thank you again, Beverly. Absolutely. I appreciate your time and everyone. Thank you so much for listening. Join us next week as we talk to a, another leader in our, one of our 911 communication center. Remember you can listen to our podcast on our website at tc 9 911.org or any of your favorite podcast platforms. And until next time, have a fabulous week. Mm-hmm.